Signing with y'all, it's your boy, Neighborhood Nip. Big shout out to my homeboy, DJ Dills. No question, Neighborhood Nip. I'm an addict for snitches. Addict for snitches. Addict for snitches. Kyrie Irving just released his sixth model and it sold out within five minutes. I think it was three, to be honest with you. The dude is doing it major in 2019. How many times has this guy sold out a pair of sneakers? Think about it. The SpongeBob's alone, six pairs of shoes sold out. Sold them all out. Now he comes out with his first sneaker back. The six sold out. This dude is killing it. There is not one NBA player that's doing it like Kyrie Irving. It's at a whole nother level. LeBron ain't selling out of sneakers. Lillard ain't selling out of his sneakers. Kevin Durant ain't selling out of his sneakers. PG3, none of these dudes is selling out of their sneakers. But this dude is crushing it, Kyrie Irving. And the reason why, he knows what's hot. He's got good taste with flipping these colorways. I'm sure he's not the one that's really doing the colorways, but he definitely is throwing his two cents into things. He's making shit dope. That's why he is killing it. MVP of the year. I'll give it to him right now. MVP of the year as far as sneaker releases. I know some are going to say Kanye West, Kanye West. Get out of here with that. We're talking basketball sneakers, man. This dude is crushing the game. Some may even say Michael Jordan's, Michael Jordan's. Unless it's a limited Travis Scott sneaker, them shits are sitting right now. Kyrie is selling out over and over and over again. Who do you know releases five pairs of shoes on one day and they all sell out? Name them. Name that person. I don't think I recall that ever happening where one man has released five pairs of shoes and they have all sold out in one day when it came with the spongebob pack then they hit us with the pineapples and them bad boys sold out quick dude is the mvp this year there's no coming back as far as these other guys in the game how are you going to come back when we're in november mvp of the year Kyrie irving when it comes to sneakers basketball sneakers no one is messing with him. I tried to cop, sold out immediately. I know some are going to say, ah, oh, they're still available on footlocker.com. No, they're not. You can try checking out and see what happens. I thought they were still available. I was trying to get that nine and a half. It wasn't happening. It just said sold out, error. And he released 11 sneakers, by the way, today, all over the place. Like, they were exclusives in certain areas, like the Philippines and L.A. The L.A. ones are crazy. The Philippines ones are crazy. The New York ones were crazy. Like, he scattered them out. There was no way of me getting them. But I want these shoes. Anyone can help me out. Please help me out. I reached out to someone at Nike. Real cool dude. I'm not going to say his name because that would just be crazy. But uh, he said he was going to try to help me out. And um, I hope... That he comes through, you know, he's just checking out to see if he can get me a size in the inventory, if that's even available. So let's cross our fingers, because I'm excited to do this review. I haven't been this excited about a new basketball shoe in a very long time, man. Because this thing is definitely something you could kill just casual. It's just, it's a fire pair of kicks. It looked like some damn Yeezy 2s. Like, it looked like it could have been called the Yeezy 3, in my opinion. And the Yeezy 2 is the best Yeezy ever. Argue with me all you want. Go in in the comments. No Adidas shoe can even stand next to the Nike Yeezy 2. Not one of them things that Adidas put out. It, it can't even stand next to it without it looking ridiculous. The Yeezy 2 is the greatest Kanye West sneaker ever. And then after that, we can hit the Louis Vuittons because those are badass. And then maybe we'll go with the Yeezy ones from Nike after that. No Adidas shoe is standing next to the Yeezy 2. And this Carry 6... It, as I said, it reminds me of like what it could have been with the Yeezy 3. It, it just has that Yeezy vibe. I love them. Some say it's whack. Why don't you come with something original? Hey, for all you guys that are saying that, the Yeezys from Nike, they all had different outsoles. Like, for example, the Yeezy 2 had the Andre Agassi Tech Challenge 2 midsole and outsole. 
it has inspiration from Nike shoes. Kanye grabbed influence from Nike, so why the hell can't Kyrie grab influence from Yeezy and Nike? I don't see nothing wrong with it. Leave your comments, leave your thoughts, smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And once again, I ain't here to try to convince you to like this sneaker. You think it's trash? Shit on it. Really shit on it, so I can read them comments too. I want to read the comments. You love them, praise them. Let me know what your favorite colorway was that released today. Let me know if you were able to score any. And once again, I'm looking for a nine and a half so I can make an awesome video on these shoes right here. I need these. I have got to get them. And that's all I got for today's video. You like this kind of talk? We have my Patreon. Patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. That's linked below. Five bucks. You get a podcast every single week. You're entered into a giveaway, which basically makes it all worth it right then and there. And there's much more. So definitely give it a shot for a month. Link in the description box. We got the t-shirts available in the description box too. And I hope everyone has a great week. It's Monday. We're almost done with Monday. And before you know, it'll be Wednesday, hump day. And then before you know, it'll be the weekend. So everyone get your money, grind hard, and I'll be back with a new video real soon. We out. DJ Dells, you know I love you.